My name is Fatma Al Ali. I'm a multidisciplinary artist from Sharjah. Growing up, I've always known that I have something artistic within me, something creative within me. But coming from my circle, it wasn't something that I was aware of. I didn't know that you could be an artist. So when I graduated high school, I actually went to medical school and I studied to be a doctor for three years. But something within me still felt like I needed to unleash my creativity somehow. So by the third year, even though everything was going great, I felt like I needed to change. And I switched and I went to University of Sharjah to the Fine Arts uh, Department College. And for the first year, it was actually a foundation year. So we get to study different aspects from the Fine Arts College. Through that, all my professors, the people around me, they kept on telling me that I need to be in the Fine Arts Department, even though my intention to begin with was for me to be in interior design. Because that's all I was surrounded by, I didn't know like you can be an artist in that sense. Once I transferred and actually went into Fine Arts College, I started realizing that this is actually what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And the hunger to learn and know more kept on growing more and more. So for me, when I started studying in the University of Sharjah, I was always driven through the sculptural aspect of the fine arts. I was always driven towards materiality. Seeing the material as it is has always been driving me, firstly, so like I would see things just like uh, latex, glue, paper, concrete, plaster, and I would always see how people presume it or how they perceive it to be or try to learn more about it and like how I can understand it and see it, how it presents itself and then I can try and manipulate it in a way to make it entirely my own. So currently now we're in my studio in Beit al Mamzer, where I created the body of work uh, Arabian department. This work was part of an exhibition last March. When I drive around the city, I always see green or like forced greenery all around the city. So like you would see the bridges and you would see the grass and flowers all around. But I started questioning this idea of how that became to be and how it was presented here because we live in a desert. So why is there this need to green the desert? So through my research through the archive, I came across a document where it was talking about the agriculture within the UAE. And all these documents are the British documents from the 40s and 50s and 60s. And they were trying to introduce uh, different fruits and vegetables. And while reading it, I came across a paragraph that stated that we need to introduce the orange type carrot, which is the European type. And uh, they also said that it is far more superior. Um, you should make juice out of the orange carrot and like sell it to Arabs because it is very popular in different Middle Eastern cities. And uh, it is very hard to persuade Arabs to do that. The idea of introducing an orange carrot brought up the idea of like what was there before the orange carrot. And through the document, I realized that they used to have purple carrots. So that struck me as very interesting because I never knew that. So I went up to my dad and I actually asked him, like, have you actually seen uh, purple carrots? And he was like, yeah, growing up, that used to be the only carrots we used to have. And slowly, as the markets opened up, it started shifting towards the orange carrot. So just that idea of having a purple carrot that was native to us and for it to be slowly erased through generations, and for me, being uh, an Emirati and growing up here, like this part of information, like I, it's very small, but I never knew about it. So I really wanted to focus more on the purple carrot aspect of it. I recreated the documents that I found with uh, manipulation slightly with the text itself. So I created stamps and uh, with these stamps, I got the actual purple carrots and I boiled it to get the ink or the pigment of the purple carrot. And with that color, I used it to produce the artworks. For this one, for example, I actually stamped with the purple carrot juice and I also manipulated the, the British Imperial stamp. So instead of it having the unicorn and the horse, I made it into two different uh, carrots. And also another document that I found that was slightly interesting to me was a text within the document that said with the compliments oil department and then it was scratched and written by hand on top of it Arabian department. 
which I went and <laughs> created another stamp with it. And just this aspect or idea that there used to be an Arabian department, even though we're different countries, different dialects, different cultural aspects, but they were all merged together to be created into one department, which is the Arabian department. That was very intriguing and interesting to me. For this one, for example, I coated the entire page with the orange carrot pigment, and then I went over it and I stamped with a purple carrot pigment. And similar here, where I had it entirely with a purple carrot pigment, and on top of it with the text, it was uh, also a purple carrot. And then I also wanted to play around with the just the imagery of the carrots itself, because within the document, they mentioned that the purple carrot is very large and fibrous, and the orange carrot is very smooth and nice. So I wanted to depict that within the artwork itself. Also through the archive, I came across different imageries from the 40s and 50s, and also a lot of documentaries that were made before the creation of the UAE. And it all depicted the different lives within that. In one documentary, they were talking about how Arabs are living in the desert and it's dead and there's nothing in it. But like the imagery that I saw was full of greenery and lush greenery and just people were trying to live or sustain themselves. So it all come together into this body of work. So recently my experimentation has been around bioplastics. Something about the idea of going to the grocery store and just buying these smaller components that are usually used to cook. But for me to come and bring it and present it or create it in a way to create bioplastic has been very intriguing to me. I wanted to understand it fully, try and find different recipes and ways where I can create it. And every time I would create it, it will come out differently. So one of the first tests that I created was actually very strong and hard, and it uh, created this shape for me. As I kept on experimenting and playing around with different materials or different recipes, every time it would come out differently. And the learning aspect of it has been very interesting for me. The idea was for me to try and understand it fully and then come as an artist and try and manipulate it in a way where I can have my own components within that and try and make it entirely my own. And conceptually, I was thinking a lot about ideas of homes, the history of the place, the land, how it is presented, how it is created, the different aspect that goes within that. So just the idea or the concept of building a house or building a home has been very intriguing to me. And with that, I started playing around with mixing it all together. So this is actually an image from my neighborhood. And then I was thinking about this ideal concept or thought of a home. So when you ask a child, try and draw a house, they would usually try and draw something similar to this shape. So just the idea of for it to be 2D, and uh, usually these are created or printed to be later on folded to 3D objects, but uh, it is essentially made out of paper. So what happens if that material was actually stronger? So with that, I started also playing around with different shapes and different ideas of the concept of the house. I actually 3D scanned some of these places. So this is actually <laughs> my house. This is my room. And these are the places that I usually move around or like live around. So just this idea of how I can present that in an artistic form or try and merge these different ideas together. So again, with the plastics, I was also thinking about what will happen if I printed on it, what will happen if I stamped on it, or mix it with different forms or ideas. How will the idea manifest itself or change? But it's still an exploration phase for me right now. I feel like my process as an artist is never ending. I have this hunger to learn and to know more and to understand more about my surroundings, my land's history, my family history, and like always trying to notice different elements and aspects that are surrounding me to day-to-day -day life. And like seeing objects that are usually seen as mundane or just normal things that are surrounding you, but I try to dissect and notice these things in a deeper level and see if I can present it in an art form one way or another.